Well, hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Microsoft Office video tutorial. Now in this video today, as I'm sure the title has given it away, is we are talking about how to protect your Microsoft Office files. Let's face it, you may be working on a report for three, four, maybe even uh, five days or, or two weeks. And you're working on that report and all of a sudden a computer crashes and, well, the report is gone. Or you're typing away and something happens, the computer locks up and you're like, where did the file go? And you have to maybe do a hard reboot and you forgot to save over the last so many X amount of minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to save your Microsoft Office documents and protect them. So if we go under File, under File, we're going to go right down to Options. Now in options, there is a place right here, one, two, three, four down that says save. Click on save. Obviously the file format we're saving in is the newest version here is DOCX. This save auto recovery information every. Okay, 10 minutes is pretty long. Think how much work you can do in 10 minutes. Now it says you can enter a whole number between one and 120, okay? So I like to make this every two. So what that means is every two minutes it's going to do an auto save. That way you don't have to worry about it. It's always auto saving. The next thing we're going to look at is auto recovery file location. Now, if you have a good tech department and I found people's files before after a system crash, but it saves it in a really, really weird area. Users, your name, app data, roaming, Microsoft, Word. That's a really obscure area to save uh, auto recovery files. When you need it back and the system crashes, you're like, oh no, where did it go? And your boss is screaming that they need that report. Well, let's change this. We can set this to any location we want. So we're going to change this location. And we're going to just put it in documents and create a new folder called uh, recovery. You can really name it anything you want. It really doesn't matter at this point. You can just call it whatever uh, suits you. The idea is we're moving it to a really easily accessible place. Click on OK. Now you can see it's in your users, your name, documents, and recovery. Okay, easier to find than app data. Usually app data is a hidden file folder on your computer, and you may not be able to locate that. Okay. The next thing we're going to look at is default uh, local file location. Now what I like to do with this, and I teach people this all the time, if you save it on your current hard drive, if you save it right here on your current hard drive, that could be catastrophe. You could be leading yourself into a world of pain. Now if you're using Microsoft Office and you have an Office 365 account, you have one terabyte of storage in the cloud. If you're using Google Docs, uh, such as we do at our school, you can also save it in your Google's folders by default. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's click on Browse. And we are going to look here on our Google Drive, or I also have pCloud. pCloud is another, uh, another cloud-based service. So if you don't have OneDrive, and maybe you don't have Google Drive, check out pCloud. If you go to jackstechcorner.com, that's my blog. I talk about pCloud on there, and there's a link where you can easily sign up for free. So let's go ahead. We're going to put it in pCloud for today's demonstration. Now we have a Documents folder here, so we'll just go under Documents. And I'm going to put it on my P drive, which, as you can see, is in the cloud. Click on OK, and it's going to put it right on the cloud drive. Okay, and we'll test that theory here in just a minute. All right. The next thing is, is offline editing options for your document management server uh, files. Now this talks about office document cache. Okay, caching is just a place where it goes. It stores uh, server drafts, and I would just leave this alone here and not even bother that. Once you get all this saved and all this in here the way you want it, simply click on OK. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we will talk about these tools later on down the road. I'm just going to center it here. And uh, this is my pCloud file. 
Oops. Okay. So we're going to save this to the to the P cloud automatically. I don't have to dig around looking for that. Watch. So if we hit File, Save As. Okay. We're going to go uh, Browse. And when you click on Browse, you'll see now that it goes right to the P cloud drive because it's predetermined. That's where you're saving your files at. And uh, it's kind of a weird spelling there on this one. I guess I capitalized that one. Uh, we'll just call this first doc, monthly report, whatever. And we'll click on save. All right. With that done, I'm going to open up my file explorer here. And this is actually running Windows 11 right now. You know, you got to test out some of the newest uh, operating systems out there. If we go to our P Cloud drive, okay, which I'm going to go here and find it, P Cloud. And I'm going to go under Documents. And you can see now there's that document. Very much secure, very much uh, saved in the cloud, not on my local computer. So if this hard drive crashes, I don't have to worry about it. Another nice thing when you do this is when you go home, you would also have P Cloud or OneDrive or Google Drive installed on your home computer. You can open up that document and be working on it again. How many times do you work on a file Maybe it's on your local server in your business. Maybe it's uh, on your local computer, on your desktop computer at work. And you go home and you can't access that file anymore. This is a great way to be able to save those documents, protect them, and always have full access. I could even access this document and work on it on my iPad because I got pCloud on there. You can have OneDrive on there. Uh, and I can work on it even on my phone in a pinch if I really, really need to. So I hope that this tutorial, this little video tutorial helped you out. I don't want to make them too lengthy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to be bringing you more Microsoft Office type tutorials. Let me know in the comments below what you want to hear about, what you want to see, what you might want to learn. And I will walk you through those steps to get you up to, uh, up to the level of an office expert. What do you think about that? So thanks again for watching Jack's Tech Corner. And uh, if you're not subscri subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below. And I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Have a good day.